hello again and welcome to another video tutorial by PC Brain. Today's going to be a quick video showing you how to adjust your mouse properties. The mouse of course controls the cursor, like my mouse cursor moving here moves when I move my mouse. The mouse may be a touchpad attached to your laptop. It may be just a standard mouse attached to your desktop or laptop. It may be a trackball, but they're all considered to be a mouse. So you're going to go to the same section in the Windows control panel to adjust your mouse settings. Now, one quick note, if you do have a notebook, computer, a laptop, your touchpad, um, the little pad on the below your keyboard that basically controls your mouse cursor, may have its own specific tool to control its settings, and you may want to refer to your laptop manufacturer some, for some more information on those mouse settings specifically. And also, if you purchased a mouse in the store, specifically a higher-end mouse, it may have specific software as well that came with it. But we're going to go ahead and look at the Windows control panel its own mouse settings. So the first thing obviously we need to do is we need to actually open up the mouse properties. So we're going to show you how to do this in Windows 7. For Windows XP users, uh, since Windows XP has been around for so long, you probably already know how to do it on there. But basically you go to the control panel and you just click where it says mouse. For Windows 7, just like any other control panel item, you can search for it. So you don't even have to open the control panel to get to the mouse settings. I'll show you that tactic first. First thing we're going to do is click on our start button. And without clicking on anything else, just go ahead and type on your keyboard M O U S E for mouse. Now you'll notice you'll have quite a few categories here programs, control panel, documents, music, and these are all things found around my computer that have the word mouse in them. Now there's mouse and keyboard settings, but that's a specific program installed on my computer for my Logitech mouse and keyboard. But we're dealing with the control panel setting for mouse. So here it is. This is what we want to click on. And this will take us to our mouse settings. Now let me show you the other way to open up this setting. Let me cancel this. We're going to go to start and then click on control panel. And if you're in category view, which looks like this, you're going to click on hardware and sound. And right underneath the devices and printer section up here, you'll see mouse. And that will open up that exact same window. One other thing that you can do, if your control panel is not in category view, but it's in list view, like this, everything's alphabetical. So you can actually just find mouse. And once again, that will open up that same window. So let's take a look here at all the different options. Button configuration essentially has one option here. And that means that your normal mouse click button is your left mouse button. But some people, if they're left-handed or just by personal preference, if you want your primary left mouse button, what we all refer to as the left mouse button, if you want that to be your secondary button, or what we think of as the right-click button, you can swap their functions right here with this checkbox. Your double-click speed is basically how fast you need to double-click to select something. So here's a little test here. If I single-click, nothing happens. Here I'll do a quick double-click, and boom, something happened. If I do it really slowly, like click, click, nothing will happen. But if I drop this down to slow to make my double click speed very slow, now if I go click, click, it will do something. If I move it to very fast and I just do a normal double click, 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 nothing will happen. I have to do it very fast here. Click, click. That's not even close. There, super fast, you have to click it. So the default setting is okay for most people. That's just a natural double click. Boom, and it works just fine. Click lock, here's a little information here, enables you to highlight or drag without holding down the mouse button. To set, briefly press the mouse button to release click the mouse button again. So basically when you click and you drag something, let me show you here, you have this 
I have this random balloon picture here. And basically, when I click and I hold, I can drag that image around and move it to a different location or copy it somewhere else. Click lock allows you to just click and it will lock if you click for a brief amount of time. So let's go into settings here. Just how long you need to hold down a mouse or trackball button before your click is locked. So let's leave it at the medium setting here and let's see. I'll kind of click and hold and there it is. It's locked on and there it is again. Click and hold, click and hold, and it's locked on. So it's just a setting. It's personal preference for me. I just like the classic feel to the mouse, so I'm going to leave it off. Pointers is the next tab up on the top here. And basically, you can check your scheme here for your uh, mouse look and feel. So if we wanted to choose a extra large black, we can choose the extra large black. And here's all the different uh, ways it'll look if it's an hourglass, for example, or a text cursor, or just a normal pointer here, to give you a preview of what it'll look like. Arrow is just the standard look to it for Windows 7. And here's those. And you can change these all individually by going to Browse and actually finding a cursor that you're looking for. Use Default will change them all back to the scheme default. You can also customize it the way you want by browsing for different icons to be used as your mouse cursor and save it as its own scheme. The pointer shadow is essentially literally a shadow beneath the pointer. You can turn this off to enhance performance if you need to. And then allow themes to change mouse pointers if you have a certain theme installed on your computer that adjusts the mouse cursor. Let's go next year to pointer options. Pointer speed is basically how fast the mouse moves across the screen. You can adjust that here. So you move it. If it's really fast, you don't have to move the mouse very far for it to move. I'm barely moving my mouse right now. It's jumping across the screen. And if it's slow, you really... I'm moving my mouse all the way across the mouse pad right now, and it's barely going anywhere. So I'm going to move this back up to about halfway, where we like it. Enhanced pointer precision just gives you a little bit more of a fluid motion to it. Snap to will automatically move a pointer to the default button in the dialog box. So what that means is when it says default button, what that means is here, for example, see how the button OK kind of has a bluish color to it? Now, I haven't clicked OK or cancel or anything like that, but it does have a bluish look to it. That means that it's a default button. If I hit the button return or enter on my keyboard right now, it would literally hit OK. So when a default button is open like this or available, the mouse cursor would jump directly to it. OK? Um, it's kind of annoying in my opinion, and I leave mine off. Pointer trails is also something that I leave off, but some people need it to be able to find the mouse cursor. If you have vision problems and you can't see your mouse all the time, or sometimes you lose it on the screen, one thing that may help you is the pointer trails. And another thing that may help you is if you change your mouse cursor to a black color. Let's turn that off for now, though. But also, you can change the length of the, of the tail. Do you want to hide the pointer when you're typing on the keyboard? That's a default setting. I'm going to leave that set. Show the location of the pointer when I press the control key. Let me show you what that does. So I'm going to select that here, and I'm going to hit control. You see there? It makes just like a, a circle around it. The wheel settings here basically lets you know how fast you want your scroll wheel to move. Horizontal scrolling is side to side scrolling. Same setting here. This is information about my mouse hardware and Logitech set point settings. You may not have this. The only reason why you would have this is if you have a Logitech mouse. And when I clicked on that tab, that's basically going to open up the Logitech specific settings for my mouse. Yours may never, it may not even be installed on your computer at all because you don't have a Logitech mouse. Yours may say synaptics, it may have nothing here at all. But what it does is it basically puts those settings into the main control panel hardware settings for easy access. So I hope that clarified the mouse settings for PC Brain. This is Matt. Until next time, thank you.